Welcome to another episode of Black and Blue. This episode, uh, we're doing this one in the morning. Uh-huh. Uh huh. And uh, yeah, it's uh, it's a beginning of a day. So we're gonna call yeah. this one uh, New Beginnings. Yes, indeed. New Beginnings sounds like a coffee shop. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I think you're right. But we oh, get this man. from good old Lamentations, right? The exactly. happiest book of the Bible. <laughs> From the happiest prophet ever, the weeping the prophet, prophet. Exactly. Ju- 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 Jeremiah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, anywho. Yeah, but right in the middle of weeping prophet's lament of him crying out to the Lord, we have here in Lamentations 3, the steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. The Lord is my portion, says my soul. Therefore, I will hope in him. Yeah. And, I mean, if you think about it, uh, the morning comes after the night. Yes, Deacon is obvious. But uh, there's a lot of ways you can picture that. I mean, think about um, just the the darkness of maybe um, a diagnosis or just a really bad day or a mistake that you're going... Uh, there's no recovering from this flub mm-hmm. or mistake. Um, how embarrassing. Uh, any other ones? I mean, there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of different ones. There's Picture a lot of stuff that keep us in our bed. Exactly. We don't want to get out. That, that's exactly. your point. Yeah, from exactly. Especially the past day, week, month, year. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, you just, yep. you just want to curl up in a ball and stay in bed. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, here we have our Lord going, wait, there, there's something new. There's something better. My steadfast love is, and faithfulness is is greater than anything that could have come before um, in your dark night. Um, my love for you is greater. I am your God. I mean, that's what's so beautiful of the Lord is my portion. Therefore, I will hope in him. And there's something very special with mornings as well in our Lord Jesus's life. Um Think about first Good Friday. I mean, here is a day that from noon to three o'clock, it was what color outside? It was uh, super bright outside. Even my Ray-Ban glasses. Super dark. Yeah. Dark at the supposedly the brightest time of the day. Yeah, exactly. Super dark. Right. And you have Jesus on the cross crying out, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Our Lord Jesus in agony, our Lord Jesus in abandonment, despair. I mean, all sorts of just darkness, both Mm -hmm. physically, emotionally, out, you know, all that can be seen is darkness. And then um, it doesn't look like anything good could happen from a death like that. Yeah. And then our Lord Jesus is placed in the tomb on Holy Saturday. And it still doesn't look like anything good. That must have been the hardest waiting ever. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, putting all your eggs in the Messiah Jesus basket mm-hmm. and it's just like, oh man, all your chips mm-hmm. on him. Yeah. It's like, oh boy. Yeah. He was the loser. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I mean, these people left their families, their jobs. Right. I mean, just their whole like previous life. And so what do they do now? Yeah. Well, I mean, if I was in the disciples' shoes, it would be kind of like, okay, how can I face my family now that I yeah. did this? I left everything and said, I'm following the Messiah and now he's... Dead and, and now my brother's right. gonna say, well, I told you so. Exactly. You're facing all those I told you so's. Right. And here is someone you loved who is now yeah. dead and you betrayed him. So you're going coulda, woulda, shoulda of yeah. of all the things you thought you would do in, in a situation like that of being faithful, like Peter going, you know, we'll die with you, Jesus, we'll fight. And I mean everything then, about that Saturday says, Well, his steadfast love, it does cease. Mm-hmm. It does come to an end. Mm-hmm. Uh, great is your faithfulness. Uh, no, nope is your faithfulness. There mm-hmm. is no faithfulness here. Yeah, I mean everything is saying the exact opposite. Mm-hmm. Exactly. But then that morning, that Easter morning, when the sun breaks through the darkness, uh, literally and figuratively, because and most mm-hmm. especially literally with the S O N um, rising from the dead, breaking through and bringing healing in his wings, as Malachi talks about. Yeah, um, I like that in Mark's gospel. When the sun uh, rose, it's like, uh, that's S-U-N and S-O-N. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And so that sun breaking and that's 
uh, God's stamp of approval, his guarantee of, yes, I will be faithful. Even when it doesn't look like I am faithful, that my mercies aren't new every morning, I am faithful. And um, Pastor, when Jesus appears to his uh, disciples on Easter morning, um, or not Easter morning, Easter, Easter evening. evening yeah. I, um, I, I knew what you meant. I'm not going to correct you. Thank you. Um, what is What does he look like? I mean... Oh, well, yeah. I mean, he, of course, says, peace be with you. Yes. Right. And then he shows them the hands mm-hmm. and the side. Yeah. He still bears in his flesh the marks mm-hmm. of crucifixion, mm-hmm. the marks of despair, the marks of abandonment, the marks of uh, pain, yeah. uh, the marks of, of death. Mm-hmm. But now mm-hmm. completely transformed into trophies of salvation. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, gaze we upon those glorious mm-hmm. scars. Yeah. Yeah, showing yeah. that, uh, yeah, those uh, those wounds are not the end. Mm-hmm. Good Friday, not the end. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and the waiting doesn't last forever. Mm-hmm. There are surprises with a morning, Easter morning. This is the Easter morning God who surprises. Yes. Every morning. Every morning. The God who's using all things for good, as, as Paul says in, in Romans 8. He's using the... Uh, wounds, the despair, like you were saying, all of the darkness of of Good Friday, he's using all of that actually to bring life with that Easter morning resurrection. And so, I mean, then that gives me and and you, Pastor, and all of us hope for all of the times we're going through um, Mm -hmm. dark times, maybe with depression or anxiety, or maybe with um, a family member who is sick or dying, um, you fill in the blank. Any of those situations, those are, um, as we're going through those, we can think of our Lord Jesus who has gone through that too and is going with us um, through those dark mm-hmm. times. Um, he's not far away from us during those times. He's right there with us, holding us with his nail-scarred hands. And he's the one who's going... I'm bringing you to Easter morning and he's giving us that little reminder every morning. I mean, we're getting to see it through my office window (laughs) Mm -hmm. with the sun shining through. Um, Every morning gets to be that opportunity of, of Jesus going, Hey, my resurrection's coming. And even today I want to give you resurrection joy and my peace Uh, right here, right now, as you're trudging through uh, whatever great day or not so great day you're having. Uh, My mercy and my love, they're bigger than anything you're going through. And Mm -hmm. I am yours and you are mine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. New beginnings. New beginnings. Exactly. Every morning. Yeah. I mean, you get to wake up every morning and realize it's not the end. No, it's no, not. No, it wasn't the end for Jesus, not the end mm-hmm. for me, because I am Jesus's. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, mm-hmm. it, it, like uh, Luther said, uh, we we, uh, we are Christ mm-hmm. with the apostrophe and without. Just think on that for a moment. I like that. Yes. That uh, we are all little Christ, but also we are we are his. We belong to him. Mm-hmm. He's not going to let us go. Nope. Yeah. It, nothing here about my faithfulness. It's all about his faithfulness. Exactly. And uh, yeah, his mercies are new every single morning that yes. we get to wake up and realize, you know, you know, I, I don't have to, I, I, this, this God is totally for me. He's not against me. Mm-hmm. Everything that makes me think he's conspiring against me. I can, I can, I can think of this verse and realize, no, his mercies are new every morning. Mm-hmm. You know, it's not his miseries are new every morning. <laughs> uh, no, his mercies are new every morning. And he's going to reveal that mercy in the messy. Mm-hmm. In that very day you're going through. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So we get to go with uh, eyes uh, open to the surprises that this resurrection God has for you and for me mm-hmm. and for deaconess. Mm-hmm. And uh, and yeah, yeah. And, and we can wait uh, patiently, mm-hmm. uh, expectantly, joyfully, mm-hmm. uh, knowing that the surprises are coming. The greatest one, of course, resurrection on yes. the last day. Um, mm-hmm. But even now we have glimmers of the resurrection. And I love it that our God doesn't just say, oh, this is ugly. We're going to discard this and just start over. Mm-hmm. Um, no, he, he he brings beauty through the ugly. He brings mm-hmm. good through the bad. He brings health through the the, the the sickness. He brings glory through 
He brings mm-hmm. glory through the suffering. Mm-hmm. Uh, he mm-hmm. brings, uh, you know, just just out of all the muck and yuck in life, he brings the best. Mm-hmm. And that's how he works. Good. Yeah. I mean, the greatest weekend in the history of the world reminds us of that. Exactly. Jesus on the cross. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yes. So all that makes you think that you're you're done, toast, mm-hmm. dead meat. Mm-hmm. Uh, remember that great is his faithfulness. His mercies mm-hmm. are new every morning. Yes. His love, his steadfast love never ceases, never comes mm-hmm. to an end. Mm-hmm. It's going to outlast everything. Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> uh, yeah. Greater so, than any bad day we'll ever have. That's right. That's yes. right. So new beginnings. New beginnings. And, uh, you know, on uh, the last day will be a beginning that really has no end. No end. So... <laughs> In the morning, we had a little foretaste of that new beginning that has no end. Yes. Waking yes. up with Jesus and mm-hmm. looking for those surprises. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And then, you know, waking up with Jesus, like you're saying, and going through the day with him. His nail scarred hands are, are walking, are carrying us through the entire yeah. day. We never walk alone. Never. Yeah. yeah, he walks with us and he walks in us. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's a whole nother video. <laughs> yep, it is. <laughs> So see. much good stuff. Oh, he's not. <laughs> you can't exhaust the gospelly good news. <laughs> no, you cannot. Not you can't exhaust our oh, Jesus for us. His yeah. mercies are way more than can be exhausted. There, there he is. He has mercy within mercy within mercy. Uh huh. Yeah. Exactly. Cool, All cool, right. cool beans, cool beans, cool beans. As uh, we used to say back in the day. I don't know. Way kids, back I don't know what day. kids are saying anymore. I don't know. I feel so old. <laughs> Okay, by his wounds. We are healed. Until next time. Cheers. Bye-bye.